And we are underway in the finals of the Super Sunday Series. Owen Turtenwald versus Makahita Mahara. Owen's ranked 12th. Mahara's ranked 13th in the world. Wow. We have a three top super 25 matchup players here. in this tournament, and two of them are meeting mm -hmm. for the title. All right. Search for tomorrow from Mahara. Cool. Peer through depths for Owen. Errant Ephemeron is Aaron the Ephemeron's going to hit the old suspend zone there. A couple of cards suspended here. It's a pretty common uh, mechanic in Modern Masters. Oh. And Mahara just passes the turn back. So Errant Ephemeron, another one of the flyers that we were talking about in our little pregame game That's there. a good one. And that one's going to hit hard, and it's going to do good work. Now, unfortunately for Owen, it does die to the removal spell that Mahara has the most of. They're both three. Yeah. Mm, Cloudskate following it up. A Riffin Cloud. So another. That is a good one, especially against Mahara. It's probably going to bounce a four drop, right? Exactly. Four. I mean, it, it can bounce a five, though. I think this one's coming off a little too. No, no, yeah. yeah it's going to come out on the same turn as the Ephemeron. Yeah. Turn five. Or six. And does Mahara have something here? He's done nothing outside of... Mm -hmm. All right, and there it is. Sportsworth out, and it's going to get immediately slaughter packed here. So yep. Owen Turtenwald, aggressive with his slaughter pact. He wants Ooh. to use it Didn't really have a plan for his next turn. Didn't he even didn't. have a land for his so next turn. So we know what his plan is. Get these flyers in the air, kill you. Mm -hmm. And there's an Imperiosaur. So that's going to be a big problem for Owen uh, for as long as it's on the battlefield. <laughs> he's going to need to find another way to interact here. He finds a careful consideration, but not the land drop wow. that he needed for the turn. He does have a Hirobi's Whisper in his hand, but he doesn't. He lacks the second black right. mana to play it. He can play a Thieving Sprite here, or I believe a Wrathy Trapper. Probably just wanna get s wants to get Trapper online, if that is what he has in his hand, so that if he doesn't draw a land next turn, he can start tapping down his opponent's Imperiosaur. Yep, makes sense. Basically a 5-5 five, five for 4 in this matchup, right? Mm -hmm. Are there any non-basic lands floating around? 15. Shinky. <coughs> yeah, I think the only non-basic that Mahara has is uh, Terramorphic, so it's just a 5-5 five, five for 4. Presumably going to get bounced by the Cloud Skate. I mean, that's part of what... Wow, no play from Mahara there. Wow. Seems like he would have liked to put a big fatty into play. No kidding. And have one survive. Oh, but he has Torrent of Stone that he's going to use right now to take down the Aaron Ephemeron. Got although it. Although he can play... He can't play around Logic Knot, but unfortunately Owen doesn't have one. And there's his second black mana. So mm. a little late, but still. Soon enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so drop you down to 17. And I think he's going to Marsh Flitter here. Careful consideration. Marsh Yeah, Marsh that makes litter. sense. So it's pressure time. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That sounds <laughs> I love right. how he just throws those on the table. <laughs> those goblins. Wow. He's got a great plan here. He gets to untap. Totally. He can Robi's Whisper to take down Imperiosaur if that's Makahi Mahara's follow-up play. If he plays a five drop, it kind of doesn't matter what it is. He's just going to kill yeah, it. Yeah, I think he just kills whatever happens. Mm -hmm. And Mahara doesn't want to play that game, so he's going to get a couple of lands on the table here. Kadama's Reach. He's going to find... Probably another mountain. Yeah, there's a mountain in the plains. So he's got all his colors. And this must be a germinator. Yeah, yeah. that's what it is. A thalid germinator. Not great. Right, but I mean, he figures if Owen's got another removal spell, he'd rather have it kill a germinator. Do you think that Owen's, Owen's thinking about Root Awakening right now? <laughs> Should be. Could happen next turn, mm -hmm. right? Cards. Full pack. A root Awakening, could it, I mean, you get attacked for 20 next turn, right? 1, 2, 3, six, 4, 5, 18, six, sorry, 18. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's just bad. I mean, yeah, so Owen's got to think about it. Yeah. All right, so careful here's consideration. careful consideration. 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right, that's interesting. Uh, Owen found some really good stuff. He found a, uh, what is it, peer through depths, sight mm -hmm. through, miss, whatever. The one that just draws you a card. Peer through depths. Peer through depths, and uh, he's got that. Hirobi's Whisper as well. He's also got an Executioner's Capsule that he found. Reach, Reach through, mists. through Mists. 
There's like three of them like that, and they all sound the same to me. No one's playing two reaches. All right, and he drops Vidalcan Dismisser as well as a Dream Spoiler Witches, okay. and he is going to get in there. Yeah, just the flyers. Three in the air, yep. Cool. And he's going to play a Swamp that's going to leave up Wrathy Trapper and the two goblins there. Mahara's at 14, and he hits his eighth land. Mm. Yeah, Owen is definitely thinking about Root Awakening here. And there it and is. And there Rude it is. Awakening. Wow. Now, I mean, it's not lethal, because Owen not. left up Trapper and Trapper mana. Yeah, this wait, wait, wait. Whoa, don't, no attacks yet. Give me a sec. He's deciding which one of these that he wants to tap. It's, yeah, it's nine attackers, each of which is two power. Or eight attackers. Oh, one of the lands has summoning sickness. Mm -hmm. Right. The force that he played this turn has summoning sickness. That's right. So Wrathy Trapper tapped the Germinator, oh. looks like. And now Owen can double block the planes and take away the white mana. That's what he's going to do. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Put you to three. Mm -hmm. For a second. Yeah. He's thinking if that's what he really wants to do. Because he can three, also four, just five, double six. chump block if he wants his life total to be a little bit higher. Right, but is there that much difference between three There's and five? There's not, and especially if he's, he's seen, seen the deck list, list right? Yeah. I'm assuming he has. Yeah, he's definitely seen the deck list. If, if he has, then there's not. Torrent of Stone can only damage creatures. It can't hit players. Mm -hmm. So Owen knows there's not, like, a burn spell that's going to come over the top and finish him off. Also I like this. Double block the planes and take away the white mana. It seems like the right play to me. You gotta love it. Owen's deep in the tank here. He's not gonna make it easy, but there it is. Planes down, a couple of goblins. And now Owen is really against it. I mean, second Root Awakening would be lethal. Mm -hmm. Owen's flyers, and they're not hitting that fast because the Errant Ephemeron got killed. You know, he's looking at, what is it, three? I mean, he's got a five turn clock on Mahara right now. Yeah, it's not a quick clock, but and Mahara doesn't trapper. have a lot going on either. I mean, that was Mahara's only creature, right? Yep. So, Mahara doesn't really have anything going on now. And there's a card draw for Owen Turtonwald, who's down to three, but facing a board with nothing on it. A second Root Awakening, assuming... Ooh, I'm assuming that that would two. do it. Yep. Oh, oh, so close, though. He, he, he plays Thieving Sprite, but it's for two. So, if there is... He's got three cards in hand, so... If there is another Root Awakening, Owen is one black mana symbol away from being able to steal it. And he shows him Imperiosaur. And is that a Pell Mycoderm? Yeah. And, of course, he can't cast the Mycoderm because he took away the white mana. And he's right. going to get in there and bring him down to 10. He gets to play a, a spell bomb, or spell bomb, a uh, Executioner's capsule. capsule here, too. And he says go. Also, Is taking out that planes it? takes him off of eight mana, too. Also right? true. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rift Sweeper doesn't do anything here, so Owen gets to wow. untap. This is going to be close. We still don't know what uh, Mahara's uh, third card was there. And there it is, Thieving Sprite to get his whole hand. It was Torrent of Stone. It's a Torrent of Stone, so now he's going to have to discard his... He's going to uh, lose the Mycoderm. The Mycoderm. To the Thieving Sprite, wow. So the clock significantly reduced here. Yeah, that was for Roby's Whisper? Whisper? Yep. Wow, so he's not messing around at uh -uh. all. Going for the throat. Taking it out right now. And there's Sporoloth Ancient. That's lethal. Though Owen has many ways to interact right now, including a Wrathy Trapper yeah, and Trap Blocks blocking. and uh, killing it and all that stuff. So he's Execution immediately casting. killing everything. Attack with all of them. One, two, three, seven? four. No. And he's got a Dream Spell Riches. So Owen Turtonwald has lethal here. And that's nope. going to do it. Owen wins the first game. Wow. Mahara does not look pleased with that. He did fire off the Rude Awakening, and it almost it wasn't was lethal. enough. But not quite. Not quite. Was that premature, do you think? I don't know. I would ask Rashad. He's the Rude Awakening king. Do you wait until it's for sure lethal, or do you get him down to, to three or it one? Look, or it one? looked like a good play at the time. It's a plan. What else is he going to do that turn? He could have yeah. played the mic. He, uh, did he have the Mycoderm, maybe? He had the Mycoderm he in his hand. He definitely had Imperiosaur. He had Imperiosaur in his hand, and I think he had one other creature. Like, I think his hand was three creatures. Seems like he would have gone in. Well, we saw his hand afterwards, though. We don't know what the draw phase was we after do not. the Rude Awakening. We don't know. Because, like, Imperiosaur Mycoderm seems like it would have been better mm. than Rude Awakening. Because you can go Imperiosaur Mycoderm, then next turn Rude Awakening. 
now all eight lands can attack because none of them have summoning sickness. Yeah. So I think he would have done that. We have to assume he must have drawn the Mycoderm after. Yeah, that's Question what I, that's, mark? that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's hard to say. Yeah, he got Owen to three. And did Owen, Owen didn't have a, tr Owen showed a trick there? I mean, Owen killed the next three things. Yeah. <laughs> Owen's, wow. g Owen's game plan was very aggressive in that he wanted to make sure that he could Kill even things get that in attack with flyers. Wi and, and with the Wrathy Trapper. True. Because he could have sat Rathy back Trapper and got said, well, going to start tapping, yeah, but it got in for like work. three damage. Yeah, it might have been like a whole turn. The sideboarding change these decks at all? Uh, let's take a look here. Stinkweed Imp, I think, does come in for Owen Churtenwald. Okay. That's funny. I, Owen has the uh, the Reach Through Mists. I was thinking Peer Through Depths. Those are in, <laughs> Mahara has those. There's three in his board randomly. Oh, okay. And we did see uh, Hirobi's Whisper spliced onto spliced onto one of those Reach Through Mists. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that came up that game. It did. Yeah, he, so he got to play that twice. It's huge for him. Um, Owen does have access to two Traumatic Visions, and given the fact that Mahara's best spell costs eight, and some of his best spells cost five. He might want to bring in the other one. Yeah, they're he started pretty low one impact. and had one in the board. Yeah, so I they're pretty low impact. I mean, if it comes down to it, you can cycle them off and just get a land. Right. It's worth considering. Yeah, I think he well. would bring it in. Yeah. Versus double root awakening. I, I think so. I think he brings. It I in. think you bring it in. Because he has enough removal to deal with uh, Mahara's ground game. He also has the the tapper and maybe even a death cloud and that kind of thing. It's death cloud, right? Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you guys tune in for Grand Prix Paris. That's coming up next weekend. It's Legacy. Our crack European coverage team is going to be covering that event for you. So for you Legacy fans out there. Should be a big one. It's pro a big level Legacy event. community oh, in it's Europe. Oh, huge. They've had some massive Leg Legacy tournaments over there. I thought it was a typo the first time somebody <laughs> pointed Shows out you to an me. attendance figure. Yeah, I was like, wait, what? That's for Legacy? Yeah. So make sure you check that out at twitch.tv slash magic with text and companion coverage on dailymtg.com. And then comes the Bro Tour. These guys will be there. We'll be there. We will be there. That's going to be in Valencia the next weekend. <laughs> so Owen Turtenwald, he's one, one game away. Remember, before seat. the tournament started... He wants my seat. He wants to talk to you. He, he asked me if, if I had Into some time booth. on Sunday afternoon to chat with him. <laughs> and he said, look, man, I've always got time for you. <laughs> you just got to show up. And, uh, you know, he's not there yet, but he is a game away. It's true. All right, and we have a keep. And a Thalid on turn one. There's a nice little rip there for Owen Turnwald, his Executioner's Capsule. He knows he's going to get good value out of that down the line, and he's going to run it out there right now. Attack for one. Drop to 19. There's one two drop in the deck for Mahara, so hmm. we don't see it here. I wouldn't play it there even if I had it if I'm Mahara. <laughs> no kidding. So let's see if he suspends something on turn two. Which he did. All right. Oop. Now it's Rift Sweeper time. Yeah. Now if he's got Rift Sweeper, he'll play it. But he also gets to use his uh, his Terramorphic Expanse to get his right. splash color of white in for one of his three Pallid Mycoderms. He's also going to get another counter going on his Thalid. So it's a start. Wouldn't call it an amazing start, but it's a start. 18. Attack drop, Owen down to 18. Does he have his Rift Sweeper? He does. Yes. So there's, that's a big, big turn three play there it's for nice Mahara. Swing. It really is. I mean, not only is that uh, a good answer for Owen, it's also one of his better threats. <laughs> <laughs> Two power flyer. Mm -hmm. There's only one thing better. <laughs> Done. And Mahar is done and passes a turn. Owen draws traumatic visions for the turn. And he's going to play a thieving sprite for one. So you discard a card. You get to pick it. And he's going to discard Root Awakening. <laughs> so that indicates a land light hand potentially. Yeah, that's how I read it. He's got the fourth one though. And does he have the Spore Sower? No, he's got a Pallid Mycoderm. Not too bad here. He's attacking for three. He's got one hmm. 
sapperling sort of waiting in the wings right, there. Right, and that's that why he played the Mycodrome pre-combat. Mm -hmm. Could, in theory, make a sapperling and sack it to the Mycodrome to pump everybody. To pump up the Thalid. Right. Which means that it's going to get in for a damage that maybe it wouldn't have normally. Now, Owen can balk here, sure. though, mm -hmm. and trade a sapperling for his uh, thieving sprite, but he doesn't. He takes it. So, quite a nice start here, really, for, for Makihita Mahara. Yeah. He had a one drop. Uh -huh. He had a two drop and managed to cack a suspend creature with it. He did, and the he gets to see both. And he's going to see Sporoloth Ancient and, Sp and Thal Germinator there. Yeah, get rid of the Ancient. Even though he can't cast it next turn without a land drop, he doesn't want to get him to have cool. that because it gets right. out of hand super fast. It's yeah. also just huge. Yep. That all makes sense. So at some point here, though, that Executioner's Capsule is going to need to take down <laughs> the... Uh, Mycoderm? The Mycoderm, yeah. That's the most powerful one for sure. Germinator's coming down. There's a Germinator. Mm -hmm. Much less of a problem. And he's going to attack with yep, everybody get in for there. two, four, five, six damage here. I am not afraid of your 1-1s. One Or maybe my 1-1s one are better than your 1-1s. One All right, he's going to block. So, sacks one to the Mycoderm. He'll mm -hmm. deal... Yep, ten. Doesn't even deal less to Owen, right? He deals the same to Owen, but the Thalid survives. Yeah, he takes five there. It goes down to ten. And Owen finds a Pestermite for the turn. Yeah, Mahara's pretty much drawn the Thalid portion of his deck. He has, yeah. And a, and a reasonable curve of one, three-ish, yep. four. Traumatic Visions is going to get cycled to give Owen Turtonwald another black mana source. He's, he knows that Mahara's top deck in and doesn't have nearly the lands that he needs to get to Root Awakening, so he's not as concerned. Mm -hmm. And he's going to attack for one and pass a turn back. Now, Owen did not use the Executioner's capsule, capsule on his turn, but there's also no Sapper Lynx available at the mm -hmm. moment, so it's a... Uh, Owen's also got Pestermite up, right? He does have Pestermite up, too. Chose not to use that either. Not on a land. He could use it mm -hmm. uh, for combat, and he's not going to. Mahara said attack, and Owen said, mm-hmm. Yep. Three. Three. Three cards in hand for Owen Turtonwald. He's up a game in the finals here. Yeah. Six thousand dollars on the line. Second place is going to get three thousand. So three thousand dollar difference between winning this game for Owen or forcing a game through three for Mahara here. And Mahara's going to attack with these three, I guess. <laughs> Now, I think Owen has a Warren Pilfers in his hand as well, so he mm, might yeah. be willing to be pretty liberal with that Pestermite as far as trading it off for the Rift Sweeper or even the uh, Germinator, something like that. So Thalid stayed home this turn. It yeah. did. And there's Pestermite. It's going to tap down. The plane, white mana. Yeah, which is interesting because it means another Pellet Mycoderm can't come Traded for Germinator? Down. He's going to trade it for Six. Germinator, which seems pretty good here. And it's going to drop Owen Turtonwald down to six. And another Germinator, unfortunately, <laughs> is going to hit the table there. Unfortunately for Owen, I should say. Uh, for Maki and Mahara. <laughs> Alright, Owen draws his card for the turn. He finds Slaughter Pact. He's got the removal. I think he's going to... He's got a couple. Yeah. He's going to play Pilfers here, though, which is interesting, because that is going to let Mahara pick up two Sapperlings now. Yep. And two Sapperlings and a Pallid Mycoderm is a scary proposition. True. Yeah, Owen declining to use his capsule. Yeah. He could still Slaughter Pack, right? He could still Slaughter Pack, though. And I think he's going to have to. Yeah, seems like it. I think he's kind of deadish if he doesn't. 
dead-ish. He yeah. is at six. There's a bunch of dudes over there. Yeah, dead-ish. Yeah. I think he can he can wait till upkeep, though, right? Because the triggers go on the stack, and no, then he can kill them. The trigger. Yeah. I don't know if it matters. Yeah, why let your opponent on tap? No, he's not doing that, though. Wow. So I think what he wants to do is try to bait Makita Mahara into using up a bunch of the Sapperlings in some type of alpha strike. Okay. There's a Sand Sower, though. Got it. And he's going to make a 1-1. One, one. Yep, hold he's going to make another 1-1. Yeah, one, yeah. One. all right. So Owen's like, hold on a second. got to take a look at <laughs> Sand Sower here. <laughs> it says tap three untapped creatures you control, tap target creature. So Mahara's looking to try to make an alpha strike here, but now all of a sudden that's a bit of a wrench in the works for Owen Turtenwald's plan because he needs to kill the Mycoderm at some point here, but now the Sand Sower is a pretty big issue, too. Mm -hmm. No, that's going to do it? Yeah, All right, like that's going to do it. Makahita Maharo takes down game two, and that's going to force a final and deciding. Wouldn't want it any other three. way. No, this is exactly how we, we drew it up, isn't it, Randy? Absolutely. <laughs> get a couple of our uh, top 25 pro rankings guys in the finals, and let's get a game three. That's a pretty good Thala draw. That's basically the Thalad deck. Mahara's got some... He doesn't have sort of a 40-card version of that deck, but he'd have a really good 30-card Thalad deck. Yes, he would. Instead, he's got like a 40-card, you know, <laughs> Torrent of Stone or... Yeah, that was a really good drop for Mahara, considering yeah. his curve isn't great. For those of you that are tuning in and, and wondering how you can find yourself seated across from one of these great players in the finals of the Super Sunday Series Championship, this is how you qualify. Go to a Grand Prix. Compete in a Super Sunday Series event. That's going to be on day two of a Grand Prix. You have to win the event. There's one seat per Grand Prix. You win it, and you're here. You get flown out to Seattle. You get put up in a hotel. They treat you nice. They shower you with booster packs and uh, foils. Okay, that's not really true. But they do give you some cool stuff. Sleeves. Some sleeves, yeah. Some product. Yeah. And, uh, and but just more importantly here, you get to compete for a prize pool of $20,000 against about 40 other people. I mean, yeah, I think there's it's like a 44, 45 Grand Prix a year or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. One seat per. We had uh, 39 players show up out of 43 possible. Yep. You can take a look at the prize payouts. Booster boxes, $500, $1,000, all the way up to $6,000. Right now, we're in the finals, so that means whoever wins this next game of Magic the Gathering yeah. gets six grand, and the, other, and the second place finisher is going to win three. This is getting right down to business. And uh, the Super Sunday Series, I, I got to say, I, I feel like it's going to be super popular in the coming yeah. year because it's it's kind of one of those things that's like oh i'm playing the super what is that oh they fly you out to wizards or it's something it's just a grand prix side event yeah i don't know it's some big side event thing oh okay but now when you see oh wait a minute it's no longer <laughs> just yeah. a grand prix side event. no now it's like the grand prix side event. exactly part of the reason to go all right well owen will be on the play here Mahara evened it up, so Owen gets to play first in game three. Mahara looks you like he's like thinking Owen? about something. I, s I still think Owen's a favorite. I don't think that Makahita Mahara is going to get that draw that often, but I, I do think it's fairly close. Yeah, like I, I, I don't, close. I wouldn't say a heavy favorite, but I do think he is favored. I mean, come on, he had turn one salad. What are you going <laughs> to do? Does. It Owen have a keep. He's going to be on the play. He does. Yeah. Mahara keeps. All right, so we get two seven-card hands for our finals here at the Super Sunday Series from Renton, Washington. Owen Turtenwald playing blue-black control against Mako Makita Mahara playing green-white tokens with a little splash for red for some removal. This is Modern Masters Draft. And this is the finals. This is the last game that we'll play in the Super Sunday Series, in fact. I mean, unless you count side drafts. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not done. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about you, but I got some magic left in me. <laughs> oh, they could draw with Death Cloud. <laughs> Rashad we brings could get up to the game four. ultimate corner case. <laughs> All right, this is potentially the last game. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and Mahara is going to suspend, search for tomorrow, play a planes, and pass the turn back. Owen Turtenwald. Hasn't done anything yet. No turn to suspend for him, which is something that he's not going to be too thrilled about. True. And what are we going to see? A thieving spread? Sure. No. Distinctly dimp. We, we were predicting sure. that that might come in out of the board, and there it is. So not not great for him. You know, it's not, not a pester mite that's going to start pounding away in the air, but, you know, that is going to come in really handy in this matchup. 
and Mahara passes the turn back with no red mana source yet, but you know we know he can get one. And there is an Executioner's Capsule for Owen Turtenwald. He's also got, I believe, two Warren Pilferers in his hand here. Yeah, he's got two in the deck, and I think he has both of them in his hand. I think we're going to th see a Thieving Sprite here, potentially. Cool. No, he wants to make sure he gets his removal online here, and he's going to play out his Executioner's Capsule. Send we'll note land. that he missed a land. He's a little bit crimped on black mana here, mm -hmm. so he wants to make sure to get that capsule on board here. He's gotten to see Makahima Haro's deck list, and Mahara doesn't have any way to interact with the capsule, so that's just a straight up going to kill something. I don't think there's anything in Mahara's deck that it can't kill either, so an excellent card in the matchup. Mahara hits his fifth land drop. Does he have a five drop? No, he's ah. just going to ship the turn back, so nothing for Mahara. Another what island off have? the top for Owen. Yeah, what does he have? All he's done, he's done search for tomorrow he and yeah. That's nothing. it? Owen's on the beatdown path with a Stinkweed Imp that huh. he played on turn three. I wouldn't have thought that uh, it would still be attacking at this point. I thought Mahara would have something to uh, to say about that. Now, Owen Turtenwald has logic not six in his hand, Mahara has six lands, nothing. Is he on, like, double torrent of stone or something? All right, now, Owen's mm -hmm. just drawn a nice threat with a Marsh Flitter, and he is going to play it here. Remember, Makahita Mahara is Good. two lands away from being able to play <laughs> his Rude Awakening. Awakening, and plus it's not lethal anyway. So Owen has some wiggle room here to, uh, to try to get a force up, and he's done exactly that. Now he has a real clock going, and he's going to make Makita Mahara do something. And the beautiful part from Owen's perspective is that, like, if Mahara has Torn of Stone, <laughs> yeah, what whatever. does he kill? You know, exactly. it's like, there he goes. Yeah, sure. He got my Marsh Flitter. You killed Congrats. my 1-1 one, one flyer. The damage has been done. And we're finally going to see a creature from Mahara. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a creature. We're going to see Vertiloth. It only makes one, though. He yep. was only able to pay one kicker. And, of course, assumption being here that, that Vertiloth's not going to be long for this world. And there is a timely mm. second black mana source here for Owen because I think he's also got Hirobi's Whisper in hand. So he's got a lot of options here. One other thing he's going to have to manage here is his Logic Knot. Mm -hmm. He's got one card in the yard now. He doesn't want to let Root Awakening hit him for a ton because there's also the, the chance for Mahara to go Root Awakening, Root Awakening. Right. And that would be one way that he could potentially lose. And uh, I think he's got his Death Cloud as well. Really? Yeah, now he can't cast it. Try. All right. Okay. Th that's interesting. Look what Mahara brought in. <laughs> Relic of Virginis, that's nice. really interesting because that is going to make Logic Knot a bit worse. Right. It's not going to blanket. Right, but I mean, it's a cantrip. It eats into the Logic Knot. It yeah. also eats into the, uh, the splice ability of Hirobi's Whisper. Mm. You have to exile four mm. cards to make that work, which happened last game. Okay. The question is, is Mahara content to just have that up and, and do what it does, or is he, is he trying well, to uh, do yeah, something? Stink weed imp. Oh, it nice. also gets Stinkweed Imp. It oh, does by the way. get Stinkweed Imp. Good point. Uh -huh. Yeah, so he's to trade Vertiloft for Stinkweed Imp, which is kind of depressing, but Relic means he can send it away forever. That's really depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Vertiloft trading for Stinkweed Imp? I mean, it's, it's like... It's not what you imagine when you draft your Vertiloft? seven drop or whatever trade. Hey, he's up a Sapperling. It's true. I mean, look. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, he's going to crack it. Oh, and of course... And a card from there. Expected that, and he gets a card out of the deal, too. Whoop, whoop. Okay, good. So... Owen flipped a card, but he d I don't think anybody saw anything. And there's a Jerkwood Bailoth Cards. that comes down for the full six mana here. And as you can see, Mahara just kind of needed to get that imp out of the way. I mean, with a Bailoth coming up next, it's pretty easy game for Owen Turnwall to just dredge, replay it, and be like, you're never getting through. So Owen Turnwall's trying to decide if he wants to react to this. He can use his logic not to counter it. But he's already got an onboard answer. No, he is going to use it right now. Interesting. Well, it's really hard to get value out of Logic Knot at this point. His opponent's got eight lands. What he's got Rue? no cards in his graveyard. I, I mean, that's it, though, right? I mean, I, mean I, I think that's it in a lot of ways. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Dirkwood Boar is good. Yeah. I mean, he has 
on-board kill for it. So that's that's the difference there. All right, Owen Turtonwald is going to play Warren Pilfers and have no target for it and just ship the turn back. So he's kind of, I think, hoping that Mahar is either out of gas or just has a few more big green dirtles that he can kill right, off right. and start powering through for five on the ground. Yeah, no, this uh, Rude Awakening is the card that Owen's got to be afraid of. It is. Although Owen, interestingly, has Death Cloud and two swamps here. There's Rude Awakening. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, one of those came down this turn, or they all were they all eight there last turn? I hear a huge sigh there. I guess they were all there. Wow. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, and that's seventeen. So Owen could actually just take all of this on the chin and still be okay. Right. He's also got blocks though if he wants them. <laughs> Mahar is like, do I want to <laughs> risk my white mana in combat? That is so funny. Path to Exile Warn Pilfers. Wow. That's going to give Owen his uh, black, black mana. mana source, though, which could matter here. Crunch. Now, One, it, two, it, three. but if Death Cloud's going to become a factor here, Owen can't <laughs> go too low, right? And right. he does lose He's life. He's being attacked for 15. He can go to 2 if he takes it all, or he can go to 5 if he takes it all on the chin. He can also just double chump if he's if his plan is death. He can cloud, double chump. He can double then block a he's mountain. He's going to lose those anyway. I think I would double block a mountain before I double chumped. I mean I that would set Mahara back pretty far on lands, depending on how big the death cloud is for. I don't even know if death cloud's the option here though. I mean, is that the play? Like, do you d if he could death what cloud for do? four? I mean, it, it, it doesn't do anything. I mean, well, it wipes away Mahara's Zapperling? mana base. His mana too. Right? I mean, don't they sack lands? Yeah. Mahara is still going to have enough for, like, a four. Yeah. Like, you can't pin him down yeah, below so the point where he can cast his creatures. Okay. You can get him off Root Awakening mana, but you've already seen one of the two Root Awakenings. So you're not as worried about the other one. Uh, right. Yeah, so maybe that's not the line here. I, this is going to be tough for Owen. True. I yeah, so he's going to go to seven. Seven here, He's yep. going to kill a mountain. I love that plane staying back. Well, he used it to cast the path. True. There's a Hirobi's Whisper. Yeah. Yeah, Pretty Owen? unfortunate for Owen that it happened to be Path to Exile, too, because he's got the other Worn Pelfers in his hand, <laughs> and he can kind of go off with that. For two. All right, oh, so he he's is going to Death Cloud. Death Cloud for two here. Two. Okay, only two. Yeah. <laughs> so that's both Enough of to get his both cards, the cards. And it was the other Rude Awakening. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> And two lands, and the creature um, goes away, too. To yeah, Sapperling dies. Yeah. Cool. All right, so the question... Wow. The question what did Owen lose? The question mm -hmm. now is... Hirobi's Whisper and... Yeah. Two Hirobi's Whispers. Jeez. I think those are Thieving Sprites, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. That makes much more sense. Yeah. yeah. If he's going to discard him anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thieving Sprites. Yeah, and Owen is left with one card in hand and... Yeah, so Owen... Executioner's Capsule. So he needs to find some way to start pressuring Mahara. Well, I mean, look at what just happened to Mahara. He had yeah. the second root awakening yeah. for the kill. Boom. And get boom. back a, a sprite as well. So that means that Mahara has to protect the cards in his hand here. Remember, Executioner's Capsule is still sitting there. Yeah. Mahara plays a land. He must have another land in his hand here because it's going away potentially this turn. <laughs> uh oh. Owen's looking through his graveyard. Yeah, I think Mahara's out of root awakenings. It's going to be tough. A tough slog from here. He was all set up to go Root Awakening, Root Awakening, and Owen uh -huh. Death Clouded to preventatively. Draw a card. He drew another of the same exact card, and he's going to target him, and that's going to prompt uh, torrent, sure. the Torrent to take it cool. down. So now we're back to kind of square one here again. Maki Maharo with, yeah. a, with a good sequence of... Oh, wow. What a great draw for Jeez. him. Sitting the Wood Readers is going to refill his hand with two cards and give him a 1-4 on the ground. So that was one of the best draws he could have gotten, sure. I'm assuming. Ooh, take possession. One, two, three. He's one mana away from taking possession here, and there it is. Wow. Now, he doesn't really have anything great to <laughs> take at the moment. Is he going to have to kill that kill that guy? I, you know, I mean, he's obviously losing the race as it sits. But right. He can't trade it's one a tough for one sell when you're to, yeah. 15 to 5. Now he wants Mahara to play something great. Right. You know, play Sporloth Ancient. No, <laughs> not, a, not a Germinator. <laughs> oh, no. Imperiosaur, that'll do. 
and there's a Germinator as well. So Owen has the <laughs> option to kill Germinator here. Mahara picks up his Imperial Sword and gestures toward the graveyard. He's expecting it to get capsuled. He is, but the it's not. The fact that Owen is not going to capsule it is actually quite bad news for Mahara. And he, Super which bad. he probably picked up on. So Owen, he's thinking through his options yeah, here. I mean, does he need to kill the Germinator is, is a big question here. Right. Yes. Kill Germinator, mm -hmm. take possession. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mahara goes, this? Jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah. Take possession. Attack, attack you for one. Go. Say go. So own Turtenwald in the driver's seat here. Can Mahara come up with some way to get out of this mess? Imperious Sword dodges his most common removal spell. That's not too bad. That is going to now actually set Mahara <laughs> right back on the path again because, well, I guess Owen Turtenwald could still technically attack if he wants. But Mahara has the option to take it. Wow. So this game huh. is super close. Mahara's had some really nice draws, as has Owen Turtenwald. Attack yeah. with one. Yeah. And now that the clock starts yeah, five ticking. Five's got to play defense. Yep. The clock is ticking. And Mahara draws his card and says, go. What does Owen find? He has an errant ephemeron in his hand. Mm. Mm. He can That's cast it. Should, right? Cool. Yeah, and yeah. there it is, and he just says go. Wow, this is going to be close. Whoa. <laughs> Speaking of close. Mm -hmm. And there's a Thalid Germinator. Okay. Another reasonable draw here. Makita Mahara's at 11. Is that a Slaughter Pact? He drew a Slaughter Pact. He's also got Traumatic Visions in his hand. Mm. So Owen Turtenwald's hand is pretty well set up there. He had to tap out for the Ephemeron, which right. opened the door for the Germinator, but he's going to be able to kill that Spore Sower, Thalid. And he's going to be able to counter potentially something that, uh, that Makahina Mahara plays. So he's in a reasonable spot here. But a close one. He's only at four life. Do you think he's considering some slaughter attacks? Pack. No, he's going to slaughter pact right now. Yep. So in that's going to take down the potential sport sapperling that he was going to make, and that, and get in with the team here. Mm, Imperious or is on the offense now. Yes. Because he can prevent Mahara from doing. Whatever with his counter spell. And this changes the clock. Yeah, Owen's willing to take three. And go to one. And go to one. He's got a counter spell for any, you know, giant growth shenanigans. Uh, not that I think Mahara's even running any. And this is 10 damage, which would put Mahara to a 11, making two lethal threats in the air. Right. Virtually impossible yeah, for Mahara to get out of it. If Owen had attacked with just the Flyers, he would have put Mahara at six, whereas Flyers aren't lethal next turn. That's right. Like five in the air is not good enough. But, uh, yeah, that Imperial Sword attack. Mm -hmm. A lot of people would have been tempted to play defense there, defending their last four points of life, but Owen is absolutely right to attack. That's right, and Mahara sees And Mahara, sees in that. fact, has to, saw it and ha felt he had to jump block. That's right. So here's a huge draw step for Mahara. It's a forest. Oh. Owen Turtenwald is poised. He will not win this turn, though, without something else. Now, pay for your pay pack. Pay for Slaughter Pact. And he draws a land, which he's definitely going to want to play here. Attack with the team. Yeah. Chump block. Yeah. Take five. Go to one. Go. Draw step. Handshake? That's an Antuko Showman. And that's it! <laughs> Owen Turtenwald. Turtenwald shows us the big smile. Wow. He never misses a date. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Punctuality, yeah, he yeah. is our champion here at the Super Sunday Series. Wow. If Unbelievable. He, if, if he doesn't make a date for you for two weeks in Valencia, yeah. it's his only misplay <laughs> of the weekend. Yep.